Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part four of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. And uh, I was being stupid last time and completely forgot about this little view thing I set up. So go back to the ladder thing and just generally match it up to this. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but it's better than guessing, which is what I was doing. And then go back to your steps and align them uh, back up. Or you don't have to do this, it doesn't really matter. But because I'm being thorough, I'm going to do it. Continue doing this. Hmm. Seems I have a step from nowhere, but eh, I don't think it matters. All right. Um. Next, go into perspective and. Grab the stair object, get these, and press chamfer. Go back over here and just kind of uh, place the chamfer over the one right there. And do the same with this side, just so you can loosen the edge up a bit. Let's go there. These ones don't look like they're chamfer much, but let's give each of these a little chamfer. Make sure you don't select the wrong piece either. Like that. Alright, go to the other side. Chamfer. Bring it down just a bit to break up the edge. Okay, and we'll just select it all. Give it a gray material and make sure everything is set to black. Um, Alright, let's just do a quick test render. Uh, Alright, looks like it's coming along pretty good, so we can continue. And let's get this and bring it up. And looks like there are four of these big ones at the corners, and then there's a multitude of swarms of the little ones that go uh, up and down, so let's grab one of these, shuffle it over, and let's make it a bit smaller, go in the uh, left hand viewport, F3, and actually, let's use a max script for this placement tool. Uh, so I selected source, pick distribution one, that one, place, and just place a lot of them. Oops. And if you're going for a low poly game model or something, uh, don't do this, because you'll screw up everything. Okay, um, I think that section is done. So I'm only gonna connect that, move it in a bit. Um, alright. Let's see, anything else? Nope. 
So let's start creating the little back place for the engine. And actually, yeah, let's create this little back piece right there. So on the model, just create, uh, get that edge and that edge, connect. Slide it down until you get kind of thick piece, polygon, oh. and uh, cut from there to there. Polygon, extrude, extrude it up, and delete that polygon. And delete that polygon and use the target weld to weld those two pieces together. Okay. And go into the left view. Let's see what vertices those are. Uh, these are the ones that need to be moved. So move these up. This is the eternal uh, blade. Um, sorry about that. And move them. Wait. No, move them forward. So not that one to be straight. Move this one forward to meet there, and move this one, or not that one, move this one, it's not cooperating, mm, I guess that'll do, don't quite know what happened seems to work. Okay. Uh, grab that edge and that edge along with that one and that one and those and hit chamfer and give them a nice chamfer to soften them up a bit like a weld or something. Alright, uh, next going to want to make some of the little gizmos over here and pretty soon we're going to have to copy this but actually let's shorten this up a bit I'm going to just gonna test the size here for a second That looks a bit big. So I'm going to want to decrease this a bit more. Okay, mirror. Uh, that looks more about the right size. Oops. Um, Okay, sorry about that, uh, my other video was done rendering, but let's uh, connect these two pieces. So first, wow, hide that, grab all these and alt click that and let's link them right now actually, link them to that piece. Grab that, press W, move them all over. Uh, mirror, okay. Grab that, uh, attach it to that. Then go into Polygon, and uh, I'll stop here. I'll see you in part 5 where we'll attach this.